Hey, what's going on guys? It's Yvonne here again. I just wanted to show you how you can make your own kind of table of contents menu at the top of your ClickFunnels page so that when people click on any certain word that you want, it will scroll down to that part that you want on your ClickFunnels web page, which is very useful, right? It makes it much easier for people to go to specific areas of the page that they want to see and makes your web page look more legitimate, I think. Okay. So let's begin. So log into your ClickFunnels. I'm going to go to edit page on my ClickFunnel. You can do this for what, whatever ClickFunnel you're working on, obviously, right? So here's a generic one that was, um, that was, that was built for me by ClickFunnels already. So I take no credit for this. <laughs> um, so first thing you want to do is you want to count um, how many headings you want. Okay. So where do you want the links to be? So for the purpose of this, let's say we want four okay so i'm not going to do this one because if people click on it then they'll just end up at the same page so it's kind of waste so let's say you want to do this one as the first one so here's what other people are saying so one let's say you want to do this as the second one which isn't really important but um i guess it's the same thing as here right but um for the purpose of this let's say this is two let's say we'll do this as three why i need your stuff and let's say take action more and regret it you know get a free sample or we'll call it price let's let's make that four okay so we got that down so next what we do is attach a column so you can do this in a variety of ways but basically you need a column here okay click add element and what you want to do is look for navigation so go down um, it's going to be bottom from the bottom left okay so click navigation you need that so here it kind of already pre-populates for you okay so it gives you three so in this one you have um you have three different links here. You can have a maximum of only five. Um, so in another video, in my next video, I'll go over a way in which you can actually have many more links than that. Um, and there's a different benefit of that that this one does not have, which I'll talk about as well. But let's say you want to make it uh, five. So let me see, I think I can put on one. So you want to make it five. So you will click on, sorry. So you need, you, you need to click on this orange, orange gear icon, okay, inside. So here it gives you all the five different options. So first thing you, you need to do is select how many links. So we've determined we want four, okay? So after I click that orange icon, I'm gonna scroll down and click four links here at the bottom. So now you can name your links, okay? So let's do that as our next step. So we have one, copy link one, copy link two, copy link three, copy link four, okay? So let's um, name these four first, and then I'll talk about how we can actually attach it. And by the way, you can change the font and the color of this. Um, of these words you can make it you know make it a nice blue to match with the blue that's there already um, and you can make the text way so you can make it normal you can make it bold that's about it though and you can um sorry you can make it be at the left right so it can be on the left of your screen it can be in the center of your screen it could be on the right of your screen okay so any one of those options let's leave it at the right for now but obviously it's your choice uh, and then font size you can also adjust that you know make it 25 whatever let's let's keep it at 25 for now okay now aside from that uh one of the uh, downfalls with this option is that there's not much choice you can do in terms of uh your customization here right so this is about the only customization you have and like i said i'll go over the other way in the next video so you have that okay so let's 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 just save for now and just see what happens so we've attached our links now okay so step one that's good so here's what happens absolutely nothing <laughs> okay so that's exactly the way that 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 means everything's okay for now because we didn't attach the the right links yet so next thing let's do is let's just name these okay so um we said our first one is this here's what other people are saying so maybe so again you click the orange gear icon okay so let's name this maybe testimonials okay let's just click save okay so let's scroll down and uh, let's see the other thing we want to do so maybe this one so like I said, it's not really like the, the, there's not really a good title for it, but let's name it um, sample. Okay, so click that. Make that sample. Save it again. So let's scroll down, see what else we need. So why you need your stuff? Okay, so maybe for order now, we'll say uh, so again. Right, link one, link two, and this will be link three. Okay, so this is the third one from the left. Okay, so just like you read from left to right, it's from top to bottom, left to right, okay? So we'll make this um, Y need it, right? 
and then the last one will say um, because it has a variety of prices let's say pricing okay so again I'll click on the orange one and I will click again copy link four okay because it's the fourth from the left I will click pricing okay perfect so we've saved it um, here's what it looks like right sample why I need perfect okay so now we have to actually make them work so here's how you make them work so let's go to testimonials first so question you have to ask yourself is at which point do you want the page to immediately scroll to do you want it to scroll to this point right right at the top do you want it to scroll to this point to this point to this point to this right like where do you want the page to be reason that's important is because in order for that page to get to that point you have to clean on the gear icon of the corresponding part that you want it to go down to so for example I'll give you an example suppose I want uh, my link to scroll down immediately to this point notice how there's no blue right it's just exactly the next section so what I'm going to do is I'll click this gear icon and notice at the top right it tells me the section name and it says the section ID so what you should do is you should copy paste the section ID so I'll click Control C for copy okay then I'll scroll up and I'll click into testimonials and over here where it says link URL for one which is on the testimonials see it gives you a variety of options um, what I'll do is I'll just delete that and I'll just paste okay now save it now watch what happens when I click on testimonials okay so when I click on anything else doesn't work yet I'll click on testimonials boom okay notice how it took me exactly to the top of that page so now suppose you want it to not go at the very top suppose you want it to go to say you know maybe like over here just at the top of the videos right you don't want it to say here's what other people are saying in that case you'll click this little blue column here and you'll copy the link from this column so which is number row okay and then you do the exactly the same thing you're gonna go up you're gonna go to testimonials and instead of this again for section one because that's what we're fixing you'll paste that link okay so make sure it's good so now watch what happens if you preview and click testimonials boom right so it took you right to the to that page uh, right above the videos but it didn't include here's what people are saying okay so let's just go ahead and let's just finish this and um, I'll just I'll, I'll just tell you one more thing afterwards so let's just finish this thing so suppose I, I want this to go to the top of this page as well I will copy this link I'll go to the top and I'll put it on under link two, right because I want it under the second link we've made from from the top up I will save let me go to the bottom and click this one now okay so I'll click that copy it post it until I need it all right save it go down and then use this page as well I'll copy the section ID here scroll back up paste it under pricing okay so that's the last one so like I said the maximum you can have is five links okay um, so I've saved it I've, I've put links onto all those sections so let's preview let, let's see what happens so like we said if we click testimonials boom it takes us, takes us there right click sample takes us there we take why need it takes us there take pricing takes us there voila okay you're done uh, I'm not sure why oh Okay, so the, the, the reason why there's a little bit of blue there is because this is the end of the page, okay? There's no more scrolling down. Otherwise, it would have taken you um, exactly to this white part, okay? So the problem with this is if you have any animations going on, so for example, you have an animation, and I'll, I'll go over animations in, in, in another video as well, but suppose you have an animation on scroll, which means as you scroll down, animations come in. You have this coming in from the right, right away okay so here's what happens when you have animations so first of all here's here's what it's going to look like if you have animations boom did you notice that how it came from the right so here's the problem with this using this menu so if i click testimonials nothing okay and the reason for that is because we've set it on scroll so it looks great it looks really nice for people that are scrolling in but unless i scroll there's nothing there so people less patient than you Will actually see this that there's nothing and they'll just exit right away they won't even bother scrolling whereas all they all, all they would have to do is scroll boom it came up okay but not everyone is is, is, is patient so it's not um, 
it's not 100% effective to do that. And, and I'll describe another way of doing this menu in the next video, which will allow you to, to avoid this thing from happening, okay? But that's basically um, the issue with this. So uh, that's about it with this video. Hopefully um, you can now set your own menu and kind of be able to go to whatever area you want to uh, in the video. So subscribe down below if you want more how-to videos on this. I'll, I'll, I'm planning on going over quite a few. Um, you know, leave, leave comments, any questions that, that, that you guys want. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.